Hi guys, it's Prodigy125. I'm here at the race and I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna fast forward it a little bit here. So. Just fast forwarding it. Alright, here we go. So we'll get Colin Cropley, but alright. So here's Lucas Mystery. He's today's pole sitter. To me, our gaming who's third in the standings. He starts second. Kenny Wells Racing starts fourth, and he's in second to last in the standings right now. To me, our game looks like he has the lead coming out of one. But we're gonna immediately work our way to the back of the field after seeing what's been happening all week long these wrecks and the last race too even though it was like an exhibition race and so many wrecks can't wait to see who's leading this lap I read Colin Cropley at the line Look how crazy it is. It should get more crazier on the back stretch. That's why I was trying to get it from cars in the back like Nick Mystery. They didn't tell me their name. I couldn't quite get the point saying down for you. I'm just saying Wimmer fan is in last place. Who was the 8500 pole sitter? But I kind of couldn't get the point, the full point saying down for you. I'm going to try to do that this race. These things have actually settled down a lot. So back to the TV chase. It's looking for the battle for position. Surprisingly, no incidents yet. That's a three-wide battle back there. Well, that's a that was a three-wide battle, and it's about to turn back into another one. He's been stuck on the outside for a while there, Timmy Argyman, but he's right now kind of in position where he wants to be. Right now in the standings, at least. If you can keep Alexander Dawson away, he's. Eligible to be the points leader at the end of this race, but he's 49 points back, so he needs a good day. And really, he's eligible to see 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. So, 7 spots back, really, for passing him. Now, not that much, really. That's yeah, but back up in front now. Colin Cropley really having a good race against Lucas Mystery, who is up there and running strong. Oh man, Colin Cropley going for the lead. Taste would be a big win for him if he can get this. There's not been a caution yet. Jessica Miller is forced back again. Which Dr. Jessica is forced to the back again. And oh man. We're going to have to look back up in the front. Because here's the battle. And that wasn't really a battle for the points lead. But it's going to turn to a battle for the points lead. Seems to be like the strongest cars in the points battle. The 9 and the 32. The 
I'll tell you though, the 32 is he just fallen to ninth. Probably be okay. If he finds it to the inside and he will. Oh, he gets moved up. So I gotta move back for a minute. He tried to do it again. Try to give some respect. There, I think he's gonna have a beat. If he comes down, yes, he will. So that's pretty much settling it down. Feels pretty much settling down at the moment. And I actually will have more aces. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to try to upload all six, first six today because I'm actually, because we were really supposed to be at race six by this last week. But, yeah, so it's going to be hard. But back up in the front now is lap 10. We're on lap 10. Colin Crowley trying to go back after the lead. Um... Our points leaders right now, Alexander Dawson, you'll find him up in 7th. I'm not sure if I have time for the finishing order. I have enough at least to tell you my top 10, though. But, because I need to show the standings, because that was definitely not a show of last week. And the videos need to be under 10 minutes, which is kind of hard to do. At the same time, if people get me. So, this is right now the top four battles and top four runners. So, we're battling for position. And our points leader has moved up to six. TBR Gaming's up there. Everybody's pretty much up there battling for position. Our D2500 winner, G745, also a top 10 contender. You'll find him in the last or battling for position. Back up in front, guys. Right now, with three to go, Colin Crabble again going after the lead. I think he's gonna have it done this time, though. He's gonna get a little bit of draft help. Man, that outside's just edging him out. He's gonna probably slide back in line here. Nah, he's still under him. All right, he's gonna go right by this time, I think. Oh man, this is a good battle. I think he's going to have it. Let's see. No, Lucas. No, he gets it. Cropley. No, they were dead even at the line. Wow, they were dead even. But Cropley's going to have the lead now with two to go. If that was the last lap finish, I'd be shocked. But they gave Lucas Mystery a lot of blood, but he was... Dead even is now Colin Cropley's fighting for position. That's actually going to help. I can't really count out even though it's going to the final lap now. If this battle stays as it is. You can't count out the cars. Uh, back, the, who's the last car in the pack, Tamir Gaming, back and from there on front because they're the closest cars. So here you go, Colin Cropley coming out of the corner. For the final lap now, Colin Cropley in the three. And definitely at a four. Doesn't look like he's going to have any issues. And Cropley is going to be your winner at Vegas. How about a finish by them? So let's look at your finishing order. Quickly, the top ten. Unofficial top 10. Okay, now let's quickly get to the point standings and just see. So that's the point standings. 
I'll see you next race.